what's up y'all it's your girl kai and i'm back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up my name is kai you are tuning into my youtube channel it must be kai definitely go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe button before we get right into this video where i'm just gonna be blowing out my natural hair to get ready for my protective style so if you're interested to see how i blow out my hair and what tools i use definitely stay tuned All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump into this short video because it's very self-explanatory, but I am starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. Of course, I deep conditioned with the Proclaim conditioner. So if you haven't seen me use that on my channel, definitely go back and you will find it in some video where I'm using it, but I'll make sure to link it down below and in the cards. But we are just starting off with this hair. It is not sopping wet. It is slightly damp because after I rinsed the conditioner, I did wait about four or five hours before I decided to go in with a blow dryer because i don't like to blow dry my hair when it's sopping wet because one it just takes longer and two i feel like it could be a little bit more damaging to my natural hair just because i'm literally just adding heat on top of water boiling it on my hair but that's neither here or there but we're gonna go in with this blow dryer this is the only blow dryer i use um if this is by revlon it's the it's the brush y'all seen it on my channel before i've done a couple of videos like this already so that's why i really just don't have too too much to say because it's very self-explanatory but in this first bit i'm going to be showing y'all in real time how long it takes for me to blow dry one piece of my hair this is a, like a medium size section i don't know how to explain how big the section is but that's how the, the i just wanted to show y'all how long it takes me to blow dry this section of my hair and i do focus on my ends a little bit more now because i am going to get braids y'all already know my mom does my braids um as far as my protective styles go she doesn't demand like some other stylist that you're natural hair needs to be blown all the way out completely bone straight like she's not gonna ask me to do that she just wants me to blow dry it straight enough so that it doesn't take her as long to get through it because my braids did take about six and a half hours but i in the video that's dropping on thursday at six o'clock y'all will see the braids that she did on my natural hair because my hair is already braided and by the time y'all seen this video i'm almost to vegas okay because i was getting my hair braided for vegas but i'm just gonna continue to blow dry my hair another thing for the first time ever i did not put anything on my hair um i'm using the blow dryer on the low setting so that means there's a little bit of heat and it's just blowing slightly so cool is when it's blowing hard but the air is cool and then high is when it's blowing hard and the air is hot but i decided to do it on low so it's just blowing a little bit but the air is like warm so i decided to use that setting just because i just wanted to get through my hair quicker and in the past um i had put too much product on my hair and the blow drying process took so long because i had overloaded my hair with product and the product was creating a barrier and locking in moisture so that it took me a very very long time to blow dry my hair so for the first time ever i didn't put anything on my hair nothing i just let the proclaim conditioner just do its thing and just you know moisturize my hair but i did not use a heat protectant at all on my hair i just made sure to take my time and i also just gave my hair breaks in between so i didn't just keep bombarding it with heat once my hair was hot to the touch that's pretty much when i stopped took a break let it cool off and then i started back blow drying again so yeah this was the first time i didn't use anything on my hair and i ain't even gonna lie to y'all that proclaim conditioner just continues to show out because my hair was still super duper soft it still felt very moisturized it was very like deeply deeply moisturized and i could tell and i was just like wow like i didn't need to use anything at all now if i was straightening my hair then that'd be a different case because i'd be using way more heat like of course i'm going to use 
a heat protectant but this was this was a first and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I was not afraid of damaging my hair because I was just monitoring like my usage of the blow dryer and I was like your hair doesn't get heat damaged off of some heat one time it's about constant heat or either you just fried the life out of your hair one time so that's why i was thinking that it'd be okay if i just went in with this blow dryer with a little bit of heat without putting um heat protectant on it and then i'm sorry i don't even think i got no heat protectant because i have not straightened my hair I want to say it's been a full two years. It's probably two and a half, maybe close to three years now. Uh, I'll be running up on three years. I think next February, it'll be three years since I straightened my hair. And I keep saying I'm going to do it, but it's like every time I decide to do it or think I want to do it, here comes the weather. So then I'll be like, oh, well, maybe next time. So we'll see what happens this winter. I really do need to give y'all that video, even if I only straighten it and it only stays straight for a week. I just, I still just want it straight at some point in time. But that's all I have to say about this. I'm just going to continue to blow dry my hair on the low setting. Um, I want to say all together, it took me about 45 minutes to blow dry my entire head. I was making dinner at the same time. So I was blow drying, getting up, taking the chicken out the air fryer, putting some more chicken in the air fryer. You know, I was doing all that. All right. While I'm blow drying my hair. So that's really all i have to say about this and i'll come back at the end when we are all done
all right y'all so we are finished with half of our hair you can see how short my twists are and how long the blowout is but you see that shine my hair is looking good it's feeling good so we're gonna go ahead and finish up the other side and get it all blown out and ready for these braids tomorrow so this is my hair fully blown out it felt so good of course my ends look how they look because i don't wear my hair straight and i barely blow dry it so of course my ends are a little you know they're gonna be rolled up like that like unless you just like hack your hair off or something like that but i wear my hair curly all the time so every time that i blow dry my hair the ends look like that it's inevitable but i did do a little trim all over i want to say i trimmed off like a centimeter all over after i finished filming this video just to get some of those ends off because i'm gonna get it back in new growth while i have my braids in but this is just a little length check for y'all and this is just like a really rough draft because if i straighten my hair for real like silk it out baby we in there but i just want to thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video y'all please 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 be sure to like comment and subscribe i hope y'all enjoy this video this quick video of me blow drying my hair and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video